Cozy up and welcome to this week's episode of the Copycast. It's our first episode of 2021 and um, we're excited to see what can start with this year. Well, obviously we're starting with a podcast and, well, we're not starting with a podcast, we're like 10 days in already, but yeah, um, yeah, we're, we're, doing, we're doing decent and we we'll have a few different things that we'd like to do this year. And a few ideas in mind. So um, from there, we're going to go into our topics. So we're going to start with cars. So the recently, there's been an announcement of the BMW X8, I think it's called. Uh, to complete like the lineup of cars for like the uh, electric cars, basically. And I personally, I think it's a real threat to Tesla. Because obviously Tesla are like the biggest in their market for electric cars. In the electric I mean, market. Yeah, I mean, but we'll come back to Tesla later, but they've had a 4.8% increase in um, their sharing price, mm, which and, is quite insane. And I just think th- if this car like brings a lot of a- attention to um, obviously BMW's line, I-, I-, I think it could like, they could actually take it on as like being a uh, contender because at the minute Tesla are mainly just like owning their share, you know what I mean? Yeah, that 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 makes sense. I guess. Um, I, me personally, I think they they could like work together to mm. make a car because, like, see if they were on contract, then they'd have like they'd know each other's ways of making a car. They could use that to improve, yeah. and they wouldn't be allowed to copy it considering they're on contract. So, I mean, it, it, I think I think it'd work great, and especially with two of the biggest car companies in the world. I think like BMW own like many. Yeah, they own like a lot of car companies, mm. and um, they're a giant company. So are Tesla. So you know, if they both work together, they'd make a master of a car. By the way, I think so. But I, two companies collaborating to make one car when they both have their own car, yeah, so, I just don't see it happening. But it it would be a cool thing to do. Yeah, the only could I I wouldn't see it happening considering like the amount of effort and money that would have to go into it. It just depends. Mm. I think it'd have to be something that would take years to. Uh, sort of, what would you say? Manufacture uh, years to think up, years to improve and know what you're going to do. Mm. Uh, kind of plan it, um, per se. Yeah, yeah, it um, does make sense. Moving more toward gaming. I I think personally, um, the issues with Twitch are becoming more apparent. There's been many issues, uh, obviously in the past. But there's a person called Ryan Guterres. G- Guterres? So much. <laughs> yeah, he has a hard name. <laughs> um, but yeah, the guy, basically the PogChamp guy, you know, the person's face who's on the emote. He's, uh, I've been, had a lot of backlash recently of, of violence, of encouraging violence of the US Capitol, which obviously there's been riots that are going on recently, which I just think when, when you're that, like, quote unquote, influential, <laughs> And yeah, uh, to be so uneducated and encourage violence with a fan base is mm. just. And I don't even think, like, I'm per- was he family friendly? I don't know, but I, he, he might have been. have been encouraging kids to um, go out there and uh, you know riot at uh, the U.S. Capitol. It's uh, you know you're posting it on Twitter; anybody can see it. Mm. The Trump supporters. I I remember I watched this video last night. It was basically this guy um and this girl. This girl had been I think she was maced or something because she was she got into the Capitol, um what like stepped a foot inside and then got maced and she was complaining about the re- like the revolution and saying that the Biden started hurting them and stuff and like it why I have my right to go into the Capitol. It, it, I mean- it's just waffle. Biden isn't even president yet, so that makes sense. Is he not? No, he doesn't become president until the twentieth, I believe. Twentieth, oh, okay. from there, uh, when we're recording. Mm. So yeah, the riots. Um, and a familiar face to many, uh, baked Alaska, former YouTuber who was banned since we're talking about mace because he used to go out and mace people. Really? With... Yes, he did. He used to go out and mace people, and um. He he was the kind of guy to start fights and then just just dip. So um he he was seen at the rally. God knows what he started. God knows what he'd done. It genuinely it's so random. He's most likely a Trump supporter as well, which doesn't surprise you. It just shows mm-hmm. 
how toxic YouTube's community can be, especially when it comes to the president. Yeah, it, it's it's interesting the amount of people that um Trump's obviously like uh like people it's who support him. It's like watch. it's like weird. Yeah. It's so strange. But I don't know how anyone can support him. The thing is, it, it there's there's a fact about supporting him, but then he knows so many people do like they'll literally do whatever he says. So it'll yeah. be like it'll be it, it, obviously after the um the riots, he was like, "Oh, stop the violence! Stop the violence!" But trying to like act as a victim, basically. It's yeah, pretty insane. He, he's gonna do that, and he has criminal charges going against him right now. Yeah. I believe. Uh, so, I think what was it for? I don't really remember. He tried to blackmail someone. Uh, oh I think. yeah. In the uh, White he House. Tried to blackmail them, and then they recorded it and leaked it, I believe. And um, mm. now he's facing charges. As soon as he goes, uh, as soon as he loses pre- presidency, he may just be arrested on the spot. It just depends. Mm. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. To be fair, <laughs> I would. It would be great to see that. To and then be, there'd be riots be on the prison. There would be riots. There would be many riots. That they're gonna. A lot of people may die. So. Going into something more happy, considering in our first episode, we had a top five list. We're going to go with another fun top five list. And this time, for drinks. At my number one spot, I'm going to say Red Bull. And I know... What was that like, Red I, Bull? I don't, I don't know how to explain. But, you know, Red Bull, it's just something else. Oh, he's got it a is. pan next to him, bro. It's too, it's too good. I mean... I don't know. It's just perfect, and you know, you come out of a nice, nice warm shower. You just want a cold drink. Red Bull, it just refreshes you. Who wants a drink when they get out of the shower? Me. I get a cold drink. You're that... weird, you. I, well, I don't uh, know if that's me being weird, but I can't just get out of the shower and just go go for a drink. I, I need yeah. to, like... Oh, that's just weird to me. So, um, I, I always get out, and it's just so refreshing. It just vitalizes you. All right, then, yeah. All right, for for my number one spot, I, I I'm gonna go with water. It obviously the plainest thing you can drink ever, but like I just think obviously it's very good for you. It's like refreshing and stuff, and I I just think I quite like the taste of it. I know it doesn't really have much taste to it, but if I'm gonna only drink one drink, like it's gonna be that because obviously it's healthy and you're always gonna have a water. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, and it hydrates you, doesn't it? It just makes it just relieves your thirst. Um. Coming in at my number two spot, I've got to go with Coke. Um, uh, yeah, uh, ha- yeah, you know, I have to be in a certain mood to have Coke. It's like one of those drinks. It's just like you know, like you're just like, oh, you know, I could be in the mood. I'm in the mood for a Coke, um, especially after I've eaten. Mm. Uh, I feel like it's nice and refreshing. Sometimes you know, it's just there. It's just good uh, for after you've eaten. Eat. Yeah. Uh, but. Uh, it's definitely one of my favourite drinks that I've drank throughout my whole life. You you sound like top five gaming. You're like, coming in in my number two spot, we have Coca-Cola. Right, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> That's fine. But, um, number two... Well, it's, I'm really unsure about this, because there's two drinks that I think are very close. I think I'm going to go with Fanta. Fanta Orange. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the... What is it? Fruit Twists, the other one. I'm not a big yeah. fan of that, but the the Fanta orange, it's just it like like you said, it's just for um Coke, it's just very refreshing. But I don't really have to be in a certain mood to have it. I can just have it whenever and it's just they really have, like I swear Fanta have like grape and um mm, I've had the grape like, on, that's alright. Blueberry and stuff, yeah. It's alright, but it's just tastes like grape juice or grape soda I mean, or whatever. Well that's kinda of the point of it. It's grape flavoured. I know, but it's just nothing special, but especially the, for Fanta. The orange one I do I'm I'm a big fan of. Fanta are owned by are they owned by Coke? I don't know. I know Schweppes Coca-Cola. are and Schweppes lemonade. Oh, that's good. Yeah, uh Coke own a lot of things. Even Costa, they own Costa now. Um they they own a lot of drink companies, including what's that one water company? Smart Water. That yeah. One. Yeah, so Smart Water's good. Yeah. They own that. They own a lot of, of things. I know that they do. They own 7 Up as well. They're like the Facebook of drink companies. Yeah, I'm surprised they aren't illegally doing it. Or are they? So, um, coming in at my number three spot with the Scottish drink, I'm Brew. Uh, I have it on the weekends when I go to my mum's. I'm happy enough to only have it on the weekends considering it's so, like, gassy. It makes you feel really, like, really sick Bloated. after drinking too much of it. Yeah. 
Uh, it's it's just very gassy. It's like yeah, it's really bad. It's like it's like drinking that sparkling water stuff, you know. Mm, yeah. And you just feel it sitting there. It's like it's but it's it's a great drink as long as you take it in small amounts and don't don't drink like full things because that's just yeah. Awful. Before I mention my next one, that sparkling water, absolutely disgusting. But the what I remember, there was this one I used to have when I was like younger. It was the um, Tesco sparkling flavored water. They were like one and a half liter bottles. I oh, literally, flavored, go, yeah. I literally go through like two a day. They were so nice. Oh my god, I remember them. They I drank so them too. Yeah, you could you could get like a like um like eight of them for like three quid, and they it was just so oh good. they were so good. But um, I remember that. Go, going back to that, I think the next one. Um, I'm I'm gonna go with Pepsi, just cause um very controversial put Coke versus Pepsi, but I prefer Pepsi just cause I feel like the taste is better and there's more flavor. Cause uh, Coke personally, I just feel like it tastes more sugary, and I don't I usually have the full fat ones, not the uh, diet ones. Wait, diet Coke? You mean? Yeah, like diet Coke and like diet Pepsi. Yeah, I know they're they're all terrible. Diet Coke and diet Pepsi are like a sin. Yeah. If you drink that, you're terrible well, pe- so pepsi zero or coke zero whichever one is all right i think pepsi pepsi max is good pepsi max know? that was it pepsi max but coke zero is just tasteless it's like what the hell it's the same with iron brew extra it's actually coming in at my number four spot is pepsi yeah oh. uh, just just like just like uh no wait thomas that was thomas's number that was my oh. number three mate Oh, right, okay, yeah, sorry. So coming in at my number four spot is Pepsi because you know when you're out for a meal and you're like, yeah, I want a Coke, and they're like, sorry, we only have Pepsi. And then you get the Pepsi and you're like, oh, this is great, this. <laughs> so that, that, that's when I like Coke. That's when I like Pepsi. When I'm out for a meal, it is so, it's so tasty. It tastes like heaven. It is great to have with a steak sandwich or maybe a burger. A steak Who sandwich, knows? bloody hell. They are great, though. Bloody hell, that explains a lot. Um, <laughs> no, sorry. Um, but I, I think next I'd have to go with... I think I'd go with Mountain Dew. Because with Fanta, for, I don't know if... Unless I, I tasted them like side by side, for me, for some reason, they taste quite similar. Um, but Mountain Dew, I do love. Uh, I, I sort of like the taste a little bit better than Fanta, but I always feel like weird after eating them out. Uh, eating. You eat Mountain Dews now, lads. Um, after drinking a Mountain Dew, it just it doesn't feel sit right, like you with uh, what was it? I think it was Coke or or something. Iron Brew, Iron Brew, Iron Brew. That was it. One hundred percent. Um, I get Mountain Dew is also very gassy. Uh, just a little less gassy. I don't know how to. You can't really explain the flavor of Mountain Dew, can you? It's yeah, really it's something like, you have to try. It's you can't say it's orange, but you can't say it's not orange at the same time. Yeah, it's so weird. It's like so. Anyway. Coming in at my number five spot. I don't know if many of you know about this. I don't even know if it's an international drink, if it's a worldwide drink. But Schlower. Have you ever heard of Schlower? Hell is Schlower. So it's like... Is that a Scottish looks... drink? No, I don't know. It's in this big like wine bottle looking thing, right? It looks like wine. It's like fizzy uh, juice. And it's like really gassy again. But it's like, it looks like wine. You get it in different flavours. It, it's really nice, you know? When I was younger, I used to pretend I was drinking wine. That was something. Um, it just brings back memories. I've not had it probably in about three years, four years. Um, I used to drink it when I was, like, way younger. And uh, I'd go over to a friend's house, and she'd uh, always have it. So, yeah. For my number five slot, I think, yeah, five. Um, I'd have to go with cream soda. Uh, I have quite a few in my fridge at the minute. It's They're, they're very tasty. Like, I really like the taste of a cream soda, but I sort of have to be in the mood for it. And it's like, like you were saying with other stuff, and like I was saying, it's really, like, gassy. Like, you just feel yeah, ill afterwards. Yeah. Like, the you can't have a cream soda unless it's the, the bar one, though. The bar one. Oh. I don't even like cream soda. You don't like it at all? I, I remember it. this. We were having this I conversation a few it. days ago. You, I don't understand. I get, I get not having a massive fan of it, but how can you not like a good cream soda? I hate it. I don't know why. It's like I'm not even gonna. <laughs> right. So, um, he'll start a war. So, good news. Great news. Elon Musk is now the world's richest oh, man. I remember this. It uh, overtaking uh, Jeff Bezos. 
after a 4.8% rally in Tesla's share price, which means that stock market investors, they are making money from Tesla and Tesla are making money from them. It's quite, it's quite, it's quite simple, actually. Elon Musk, he, 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 he deserves being the world's rich, richest man. He, he's worked his whole life for this. Like it's, it's insane. Um, so yes. I mean, fair. I, I don't understand. Like I don't understand how he's taken over Jeff Bezos like with that quickly though. Like it's because... insane. Like, well, obviously, a four point eight percent rally in prices is obviously quite a lot to yeah. Tesla, considering their prices are already right up there. Mm. So. I, I think it's a bit mad. I remember the um, what was it? The cyber cyber truck, cyber truck. Um, it was revealed about maybe a year, year and a half ago. Um, and <laughs> it was funny. It was do Elon Musk was doing the reveals, talking about. How oh this unbreakable glass per se oh it's so good um and he he just got a sledgehammer out and was like all right it's gonna work hits it it just smashes pieces um yeah but yeah they got it sorted out and yeah I, I think it's gonna be released quite quite soon actually yeah I believe this year yeah and the they, was it recently I think it was recently they announced the Tesla Roadster. In the... 2018, I believe. 2018. Oh, okay, never mind. It was a long time ago. Um, but I only heard about it recently after you told me about it, actually. And yeah. some people it's... already have it, don't they? Yes, uh, some celebrities. I believe Matt Damon, who's Jason yeah. Bourne. And uh, um, he was in The Martian, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I believe there's a, there's a lot of celebrities that have been given it, I guess. Uh, but they've not got the whole thing together, so they might have a bit of a beta version. Although, the um you know they're 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 celebrities, so you know they yeah. they get it. Um, but yeah, the Tesla Roadster. It's a racing car. It's actually got low suspension, and really, it's just really nice. And for an electric car, it's kind of like a step up for electric cars, considering it's so fast. Yeah. Um, they've really made it great, and it's the same with the Cybertruck. I think the Cybertruck can go like up to like one hundred and twenty miles per hour. I don't know. Mm. It has some like two hundred and twenty five miles range before it needs charged again. And I know that if you were to go from like England to Scotland or Scotland to England, you'd have to stop and charge it. But mm. still, like you, 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 it's 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 a great advancement in technology, especially car technology, considering it's such a hard thing to work yeah. around. I'm I'll be I'm so excited for electric cars. That, that's estimated cost. I think it was like around two hundred thousand. Isn't it? Isn't it twenty? Yeah, it is two hundred thousand dollars. I believe for, the Tesla Roadster. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. For, for electric cars, it's insane because. I'm I'm really excited for electric cars to become more affordable and like more common. Because obviously with fossil fuels, obviously slow, slowly dying out, and uh, um, electric cars will be. I know. believe at least in Scotland in 2028 they are not allowed to make diesel or fuel cars anymore. It's just electric cars. Mm. At least in Scotland, I don't know about the whole of the UK. America certainly won't be, because they they make a lot of money off their car industry. So I don't think they will. Um, but as for Scotland, at least I think it's twenty twenty eight that they're allowed. They're they're not allowed. You're not allowed to uh, drive a fuel powered car. Mm, that's. Uh, I just think it'll be a lot more affordable as well because, like, it, obviously going to like a gas or gas in America um, place, you'll be paying maybe fifty dollars. And with electric, I think it'll be a lot cheaper. Like more like. It mm -hmm. won't be cheap getting it set up, but you know, no, you'll have in the to long have run, your own charging cheaper. station. But in, yeah, yeah, 100%, you'll save quite mm -hmm. a bit of money. And that money can be used towards quite a lot of things. So, going on to a bit of an iffy topic, this, this episode is going to be quite political, by the way. So, I, we do not mean to offend anyone in anything we say. Just so you know, this is a warning and discretion <laughs> is its place. Mm -hmm. So, call me Carson. Um, a person that a lot of people thought was. A genuine legend. I'm not gonna lie. I thought he was quite a legend. Um, he has been talking to underage girls, and supposedly sexting with them. And we're not gonna go into that. But I know it's not a nice, and it's not a nice topic. But it's something that's there that needs to be discussed. And um, I think she's like 17 or something like that, which isn't mm. legal in America. So yeah, it it's really weird because normalizing people like. In the UK, the the consent age is sixteen, I believe. Sixteen, yeah. So it, it's, it's kind a bit of weird. Insane. Yeah, it's like it's like you know you can literally move to a state 
and you know you're doing something illegal that you don't even know it's it's, yeah. it's, it's weird it, you, like you've got a 16 year old girl in the uk and you're like then she moves to america and, she, and it's not like yeah i swear the age of consent in canada some parts of canada is 13 years old uh 13 uh, are you mad i'm not i'm not kidding oh, so it's mom. like if you're in <laughs> if you're in canada and you're 13 then you can consent to a 14-year-old. Nobody younger than you, but only a 14-year-old. Anybody older than 14, you cannot consent with, and that is legal. Mm, but but what, a, thir- a 13 and a 14-year-old can um, be in a serious relationship, per se. Um, but yeah, going back to Carlson, I didn't really know about him at all until uh, there was like being me- like really big... He became like a really big meme for a while. Yeah, and, and then, obviously, that happened, and that's being re- released and there's no actual evidence to him saying it because with screenshots that someone can just forge screenshots we need actual evidence but I, if it's true that's like insane he'll be in pro- has a good chance of being sent to prison no the air is proven he he called one of his friends and his friend turned him in because oh, really? he called a friend and said he was talking to underage girls and then he turned him in oh wait so he's facing charges now I, I don't know if he's facing charges, but it's it, at least by his own word, he has turned himself in. And why would you do that if you didn't do it, you know? Mm. Um, I don't know the exact situation, but that's something that has to be brought up, I believe. Uh, Twitch, the we, we were going to talk about this last episode, but we were like, you know, this is actually a good other topic for another episode. So they're very, very sexist and they might have the worst management system on planet Earth and the World Wide Web, at least the surface web. And um they they're just very sexist, you know, like uh, what was that guy? Yeah, he was part of was it sore and he shot his wall accidentally. Oh, I remember that. That and he, he got banned. I don't like, I still think he should I, I still think that it, it was a bit dodgy, and I think it wasn't accidental. He was drunk, and he was shot as well. Yeah, I, 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 get I, do, I think he should be banned, definitely. But but that doesn't compare to Eleni throwing her cat and abusing her cat on stream numerous times. Even after she was called out, her cat just jumped up in her chair. She was like, Vroom. she like she fully just yeets that thing all the time. Personally, yet- I, I think that. The the guy who shot his wall, it, he was right to be banned, but that doesn't mean that Alinity shouldn't be shouldn't be banned. Like that's just stupid. Yeah, Alinity should be banned no matter what. She is a literal animal abuse. And especially um like the, the thing that she was doing, it's not like it's happened once. She's done it multiple times, and Twitch was just like, yeah, let's go. Yeah. Um. And then we have Bad Bunny. You know, do you not have five dollars? <laughs> Her. Um. You Is know, he- she she's still on the platform. If you have time to watch Twitch, you have time to, to get a job and subscribe. That is breaking TOS of Twitch. You're mm-hmm. telling people to subscribe to you. That's not allowed. And, you know, my question is, why is she still on the platform when she's breaking literal TOS and practically asking people to pay her money? Was so, uh, The word simp is also banned, by the way. Yeah? I knew that firsthand. Um, you little milk. It's quite, quite, quite strange, you know? Uh, how she's still on that platform. It, uh, was it her, the one that uh, we were watching the stream a few days ago and she was still going on about like stuff like that and how people should pay? That was... Or was uh, that a different streamer? Let me, let me check. Uh, I yeah, th- I'll, I'll get it right now. Oh yeah, that was Invader V. Invader V. I remember I was watching her and I thought she was the $5 girl. And I, I watched her and she was like, if you have time to watch Twitch, then you have time to get a job. Like, y- you shouldn't be watching Twitch if you don't have a job. And yeah. it's like, and she was expecting people to pay to pay money. I, and she was like, I need a sustainable income. You don't get into streaming. No, but- no, no. Wait, what was it that she said? She said, um, you know, you guys are calling me annoying. Well, guess what? You're annoying too. Yeah, she was, she was <laughs> she, slating the yeah. viewers. And it, was. It, was, it was insane. We watched that live. It was actually insane. Yeah, so- and I, I just think it's a bit insane. You're... You're saying in a different stream, she was talking about the money situation. It's like, you don't get into Switch, well, even if you do start earning money from it, expecting a sustainable income. Streaming isn't like a quote unquote, like good way to make money, if you know what I mean. Yeah. She, yeah, she definitely does. And we were trying to meme around in her chat by saying, like, do you want $5? And the word $5 and can I pay was banned. Like, imagine banning $5. 
That, if someone says the number five, then they get then it's banned. It's like, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, like, and you can also say it in text because we tried that too. Twitch might it's have quite... told her to do that, to be honest, though, because they, they, they don't want to ban her. So they're like, make sure that's not in your stream again. So, so then they yeah. can't be accused for it. I, I don't know, to be honest, it's just a weird situation overall. But speaking of, pl of social media and platforms. But yeah, uh, recently I've just started posting TikTok content like as well as my other social medias keeping up to date with those and i'm not gonna go on for this for too long because oh, everyone's like number one tip use other social medias to grow but like seriously doing things like tiktok posting every day making sure like you you plug your socials on your videos that, that one video can blow up same as youtube it's just obviously a lot harder and uh, that's helped me with my streams recently so i think it's a, it's a good topic to talk about yeah <laughs> so hitman 3 it's been released really soon. Um, I think that Hitman is fantastic. Uh, I played Hitman 1. Um, I think like they're all part of the same game, aren't they? Are they? Uh, no, they're not. I don't think. I remember because there was Hitman Hitman 1 on the... I think it was Xbox 360. I played that a lot. Uh, the, the one where... It no, was... no, 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 no. The new ones. The new ones. Oh, the new ones. Oh, I preferred the old ones, to be honest. Yeah, I know, but the new ones, um, the the first game I played when it was free on the Epic Store for a bit, uh, I still have it on my PC. I it's should just probably delete it. Yeah, and then Hitman Two, which I believe was an extension of that, um, was like it's fantastic. So I didn't really play much with the game. I find it really hard. It's actually a really hard game, but I enjoy watching YouTubers, uh, like Call Me Kevin and stuff. I don't know if you know who he is, but no, there's quite a lot him. of YouTubers who I, who I watched uh, play Hitman, like Jack Septicide before, as well. Is he Carlson's um, friend? No, 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 no. He's Irish and he has no friends. He makes videos by himself. Uh, that sort of sounds like but, you. Yeah, I know, right? Big I'm not Irish. Yeah, well, you didn't. I mean, we have um, Irish blood. Uh, yeah, um, we were planning on maybe a little video involving a certain game soon. Um, so, um, what are you yeah. talking about? I have no clue. <laughs> tell me later, tell me later. Okay, so, um, yeah, I, I think that the game's great, but I believe Hitman 3 is going to be a completely new game. Mm, yeah. Like I was saying before. I played loads of the old Hitman games, but I, I've not actually played any of the new ones. Cause I remember I watched a um announcement video on it, and then I think it was Ali A at the time in like 2016. He did like this um like Hitman course, and basically he was speaking to the guy in game and making him do stuff. It was pretty insane. Oh, I've seen that. That's yeah, actually really cool. It was sick, and I thought the game was gonna be like that. So I was like, oh, this is sick. Bought it, realized it wasn't, and then returned it the same day. It was so, it was quite disappointing. I mean, yeah, I mean that, that that you must have been really stupid. I was I was nine at the time, mate. All oh, right, okay. I don't did it come out when you were nine? Something like that. <laughs> okay. I mean, it was like twenty sixteen. That's like four years ago. And I'm anyway, moving on to long lasting upgrade things, advancements in technology. Uh, uh, there's a new Duracell battery released. I actually found out about this from Symphony. Um, I was watching his Call of Duty stream and he had like a little, I think it was a little meter for how lo how long he's been using the battery and it's been alive for. And I remember it's it's a rechargeable. I just almost hit my desk. Uh, it was a rechargeable battery, and if you keep charging it, like the b one battery pack, which is pack of four batteries, is only like nine pounds. And if you keep charging them, they'll last for literally five years, which is insane. Yeah. And I think each, like, time you charge it, it lasts for about, it was like, 15 hours, maybe 20 yeah, hours. that's insane. I mean, it's not as if it's very compatible with PS, PlayStation controllers, considering they're all, like, charged. As you can see, there there are no battery parts mm. or any of that. That's a bit of a pain. It's, um, I don't mind, because I don't like using wireless controllers. I, I like my wired stuff, so I'm, I'm fine with that. But, yeah, I guess it's just preference. Um... And I do know that Duracell have a long-lasting partnership with Xbox, um, which means new Xbox controllers are always going to be um, battery-powered to some extent so that Duracell can get a cut out of it, I guess. Mm. Um, it's, it all comes down to money in the end, everything does. But, I mean, it's just, it makes sense, and it's a great technique. Yeah, I mean... It does make sense. I think if Duracell keep going the way they're going and like improving the rechargeable batteries, because 
I, I at the minute just use batteries that obviously just normal batteries and like you just you get new ones if you just keep using rechargeable ones then i think they'll go into a market where you'll just get the battery packs but they'll be even more better with the duracell batteries you know what i mean yeah and i think they'll keep doing that until it lasts for a la it lasts for so long that you'll have to replace your controller before your batteries yeah yeah i get that um I, I yeah it definitely works um in talking about advancements and how everything comes down to money yeah uh, netflix are actually raising their prices by a pound which uh i understand this completely and well i won't say I agree with it because i'm not a big fan of <laughs> obviously over what is it pricing oh, overpricing but um I do think it makes sense because obviously since the start of last lockdown, not not the December one, like the full lockdown in March last year, I still can't believe it's almost been a year. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Yeah, I know, um, we're in another lockdown. Yeah, I love the start of 2021. But obviously since then, people were like, oh yeah, um, let's watch Netflix, let's just chill because at the time there was no really certainty on what was going to happen. And there is now, obviously. So I think learning from the last lockdown how much money they gained from it, they've used that for marketing to obviously like push it this time. Yeah, and I guess yeah. Did you mention their servers? No, like servers no, but their servers could... went down quite a few times, didn't they? Because there was so yeah, much overload. Their servers could be overloaded, so raising their prices might help uh, that and to get more people and more money, of course. And um, going back to politics, Boris Johnson himself has condemned Trunk for sparking Trunk. Uh, the... I said Trump, didn't I? You, you said Trunk. <laughs> Too much GTA, it's mate. Too much GTA. Trump, right? Trump, right? For sparking the events that took place on the 6th of January, which would have been the raiding of the Capitol, the riots. Um, But my, my issue, my concern, is that he could be doing so to make himself look better. Because, you know, him and Trump, you know, they're, mm. they're buddies. I mean... Uh, yeah, I, I, I've said I've said this to you before, but I remember there was an interview, and it's been memed a lot. But, but well, they, Boris had his hand on Trump, and like on his shoulder, um, and they would just start sat there smiling and stuff. And I think uh, they do have a friendship because they look like brothers, to be honest. They're both orange, and they're both <laughs> ugly, uh, and they both have terrible haircuts. Jesus, that was a bit far. He's saying that about your prime minister. How dare you? I'm joking. Um, oh, yeah. But yeah, it's it is interesting to see anyway. Yeah, I mean it's it's something else. It's like uh, you really can't know because it, Boris Johnson isn't going to come out and be like, "Oh yes, I was kidding," so that I could support Trump because like he can't do that. It's not good for publicism. It's yeah. like he can't he can't just say you know, "Oh yeah, actually, I do I do support everything he does." He can't do that now because obviously um, they're allies. He's not going to just disrespect him after like all that time yeah. and. I mean, Boris himself, he, he he could be like, yeah, come on, like we don't we don't know, but politics is a thing that's very uh, open to debate, obviously, <laughs> and it's it's just a bit it's all full of waffle to be honest. We're now gonna have a little would you rather break. So yeah, I'm gonna ask you six would you rather questions, and then I'll give my say on it input. and yeah input, what I think and why we choose it basically. Yeah. All right. So for the first question. Obviously, you are a kid now, but if you can only do one, would you rather be a kid your entire life or an adult your entire life? And uh, when I say adult, I mean middle-aged, like 30. And kid, about 14, just the age you are now. Yeah, kid, definitely. You get a lot more freedom. You get a, you get away with a lot more things, you know? Mm. You, um, you don't have to work. You don't have to pay bills. Uh, you go to school, you get you get a uh, very so 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 sociable so socialable socializing. <laughs> so you socialize quite a bit, yes. Jesus and, um, Christ, that took you way too long. Yeah, you socialize quite a bit in real life and stuff. It's pretty good for you, you know. It's a it's a good state for your mental health, depending. Yeah, I mean, school is. Uh very up and down I, personally i don't think it's a, very good for your mental health I, it it can be really i, bad, I think but... it is because i mean you have you have unless you're stressed about it 
Uh, yeah, I, I would definitely be a kid as well. Uh, I think adultism, uh, adolescent, well, we're adolescents but now. But I like, couldn't be 30 for my whole life. That's so dead. Yeah, I... I think it being having your childhood for your entire life, obviously we're still in our childhood, but like I, I think it can be a good thing and a bad thing, but so you don't actually ex get to experience the entire world. But like yeah. I, I, being thirty your entire life, I, I don't know. Thirty's just too old. Like too old. I'm not lying. It's twenty twenty one. Thirty is too old. Right? You're gonna be thirty in sixteen years. No, I know, but I mean, 30, like, you know, you're, you, it's just too old. It's it's too old. You know, it's 2021, like, 30-year-olds are just boomers now. Imagine being a 30-year-old for your whole life. You're waffling, you, you're, you're trying Imagine to... being 30 for your whole life. No. Oh. No. Don't. No. <laughs> you I are. Couldn't be, I couldn't be 30 my whole life. 30-year-olds are such boomers. Well, you're a boomer, so it sort of fits. Do you know what a boomer is? Yeah, mate. You you, you have a walking stick, you. You're, oh, you're yeah. literally the... You, but you do bingo with your mum. He does bingo with his mum and he's calling everyone else a boomer. No comment. Wait, yeah, yeah, more. that's the fact. You play, bo you, play, play bo you play boomer bingo. You play, you I play, did, actually. <laughs> you play bingo with your mum. Boomer bingo, shut up. Right, go ahead. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, next question. Would you rather only be able to use your phone? Like, like only be able to use your phone or your PC? PC. Like, you couldn't use one or the other. PC. Why? Because you just went PC and looked at the camera. A lot of more games. It's very more, much more powerful. Uh, a lot more fun to use. In fact, I actually get bored of my phone real quick. Um, I don't find my phone fun. It's not fun. For it's me, I love using my phone. Like obviously the portability of it. But ev basically, everything you can do on your phone, you can do on your PC, and you get a lot and of better. bonuses. Yeah, and I I just think if you're gonna choose one or the other, if if you're not a person who's into like gaming or like bit things that I don't know take effort, then I mean like I, you're I getting like, your phone, but like on PCs now you can get like eight K compatibility and stuff. That's you not your not that's phone. not your PC. I mean what? your PC as it is, and so on my PC. No, yeah, I know, but we can get eight K compatibility now. Hmm. Like we yeah. we can see if you get an eight K monitor or whatever. You know, do those you, even exist? Yeah, probably. To be fair, I know what you can uh, do. You never can get 8K. Monitor. You can get 8K on YouTube now. Yeah, well, yeah, because that's 8K cameras. 8K. Yeah, I know, and you get 12K cameras, although you can't even watch anything in 12K. Yet, no, so I think it's 12K just for the FPS because it's as better FPS. Yeah, I mean, I think that it makes the picture look a bit strange when you watch it in 4K because you know, like, it's so weird. It's like oh. Especially on a 1080p screen because it's upscaled. Oh yeah, bit, yeah, I guess. It would. It would. Uh, I I couldn't imagine watching it on a 12k TV though. That'd be like mm. real life, Philly. I remember I watched this. It was a a 4k versus 1080p versus 720p comparison video, oh, and bloody hell. basically they didn't tell you which one was like 1080p, 720p, or 4k. It just roll clips, and you'd have to guess. And basically on YouTube. It was all the same. Like you couldn't really tell, have a noticeable difference apart from the shots that were really close up. And I think if it's gonna be like that, then just make sure you can perfect the one that it's already is, rather than creating twelve k, making four k look really nice as it is. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Um, four k and eight k are the things to work on right now. Mm. Um, twelve so k, I your... think it'll be a long, long time. I don't know, with the way that technology is advancing, like, we wouldn't have ever thought about 8K, like, two years ago. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that does make sense. I... Um, that's only four up, again, so... Yeah. Yeah, that does make sense. But moving on to the next question. Would you rather... Well, <laughs> you, wouldn't, you wouldn't rather lose these, but if you, if you could act to lose them, would you rather lose both your legs or both your arms? I know what mine would be. Both my legs. 
No, no. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then you could ride around the one of them little scooters and look like you're cool. 60 miles per hour down the motorway and that vroom, you know you, little, you like, need to be going yeah. 70 down the motorway otherwise you're gonna die 70 vroom, you know but personally if you don't have arms then how are you gonna use your pc you can get prosthetic legs in the future prosthetic arms are gonna be a lot harder to use Right. Big brain, because ah, uh, because legs. You, if you're using prosthetic legs, you don't really have to control you them. Wouldn't much. You, them. you wouldn't and, feel pain in them. You wouldn't feel pain in them. And with your arms, you have to twist. You have to like move up and down. Yeah. Like that. Uh, that'd be so weird. With your legs, you can just walk forward. You'd be able to run forever. Now imagine, imagine being in a fight with prost with prosthetic legs though, and they were metal, and you just kick them in the face, and they just die. That'd be sick. Well then, I feel bad for anybody with prosthetic legs that are watching this. They're probably like, it's not that good. I mean, we, we apologize. No offense is meant. Oh, uh, uh, and cyborgs are gonna be sick, you know. In the future, when they make cyborgs, they will. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, this is a dodgy topic, right? Go ahead. What's a dodgy question. topic? Cyborgs are amazing. But have you not seen Cyborg from what's his name? Titans. No, uh, DC. Wait. Yes, Titans. What's it? Um, the Justice League. That's it. Justice League. Wait, Cyborg, is it bad yeah. enough? Yeah. All right, okay, right. Go ahead. All right, moving on. Would you have to be really tall at eight foot? Or be really small at four foot. Eight foot. Because four foot is just a disappointment. Well, you're a disappointment, so you might as well go four foot. Look, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't wanna be eight foot because you know you'd you'd bang your head against doors and stuff like that. Like <laughs> you'd do more like than that. Door frames, like you 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 wouldn't be able to like like eight foot. Wouldn't that make you the tallest person in the UK? No. I think it would. I wouldn't lie. I know what I'd go so, with though. I would go with four no no, eight eight foot, sorry. I I I'm, I have to disagree. Four foot. Like four foot. You can still do basically everything you want to. You might just need... Is this for your entire life? Yeah. Then you're a midget. Um, I don't care. I'm not going to be eight foot my entire life. That's just so much. You're not going to be able to sit in a car. You're going to have to have a custom car and custom shoes and crap and custom pants and short shirts. Good point, you know. With four foot, you just go to the boys section. Oh, good point, you know. You can just be like Howard Wolowitz from the Big Bang. Oh my god, and you'd get you'd get um you'd get a lot more like money off your things because kids yeah, you stuff. Could... You... <laughs> Actually, I'm not gonna say that. Um, um, but yeah, you, yeah, yeah. I think life would just be a lot more manageable. If eight foot, that's just long. Like everyone's yeah. gonna be like, like if you're small, it's like whatever. If you're, if you're like tall, it's just long, isn't it? Like, yeah, I guess. Um, yeah. What What's your next question? All right. So this is actually an interesting question because. I don't really know myself, but would you rather have the best house, like, in a bad neighbourhood, or the worst house in a good neighbourhood? Best house in a bad neighbourhood. Really? Because, you know, I mean, you've got the best house there. Who the hell wants to... My, um, my, uh, what's the word? Evidence? No, reasoning for saying the worst house in a good neighbourhood. Don't mean it's a bad house. It just means it's the worst house in the good neighborhood. That good neighborhood could be mansions, bro. You can just but have the worst mansion. But the thing is, is if that's the case, then you're probably gonna have a smaller mansion than everybody else. I don't care. But if you're in the best house in a bad neighborhood, that could just mean it's got three bedrooms it's, instead yeah, of two bedrooms. Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. But I mean, yeah, actually, can I change? No, no, you're sticking with your answer, bro. You're not changing. Wait, well, I don't have any reasoning, so... <laughs> you, you, you're just dumb, innit? <laughs> I, I understand yours, 100%. Yeah. I mean, um, yeah, there's this... In fact, speaking of, just going off topic a minute, there's uh, in Gurup, which is near where I live, there's this really nice house. I think it starts at 640 grand. It is a mansion. Well, it should be nice, then. It is a mansion. You should see it has an indoor pool, has something like five balconies, a master bedroom... It is insane. It's, I'm it, sorry. It's in, in I'm like, what? 
who needs five balconies if you're good if you're that rich just have one really nice balcony why five who's gonna no are you fun. just gonna be like oh i'll take my feet to this balcony my legs to the other balcony my ears my head like who's it's gonna like use it? it's so strange though because here in Inverclyde, it always rains so what the hell's the point in a balcony is there is there 10 well it says a roof on the balcony though. is there is there 10 bedrooms or something I don't know how many bedrooms there are, but it's I a swear giant to God, house. I swear to God, if there's less than five bedrooms and there's five balconies, I'm throwing you it. You don't understand. It is the nicest house I've ever seen. It's so nice. Not that I've ever seen, sorry. But I mean, like, in, in Scotland, that I've ever seen, 100%. Mm. I mean, fair enough. And I've been in mansions before. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Go ahead. Um. But yeah, mo moving on. Would you rather spend six months in prison... Or skip two years of your life. Skip two years of your life. Really? How how old are you supposed to be? You don't know how old two years of your life is. No, no, no. But I mean, no. How old are you to be when you skip? Because it depends. Oh, uh, fifteen. See, that's a different story. Because yeah, then you're going into work, work placements and or stuff. College. I'd have to skip two years, though, because, you know, see, if you are going to prison, you've got a record, and some places aren't going to take you, especially if you're that young, and you're going to prison, it's like, what? I don't think that, you can, you, you could just, You could just take it, you know, that skip, that year's you skip could just be gap years. Where, yeah, exactly. Uh, I've thought different before, but if you spend six months in prison when you're 15, that means you, you'll just be going into a year 11. And you're going to have a terrible criminal record. Well, it depends what you're in prison for, but... Well, no, but I mean, going to juvie at that age means that you are bad. Mm. I mean, you're not gonna, you're not gonna really change because you're a child and you're going to juvie. That that's serious. I mean, well, if you're going to juvie, it's serious anyway. But like, no, yeah. I know, but I mean, well, juvie is for kids. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a hard question, but I I I think it does make sense to just skip two years of your life. To be honest. The only thing yeah. is, though, if you skip two years of your life, then what are you going to do? Your GCSEs have already been done. Then... And you've got zero on everything. Just depends. Because see, you're like six months in juvie or whatever, like, you're not going to have the education, are you? I mean, it's just. Yeah. I don't know how still juvie year, works. You still have year 11 to fix your GCSEs, but, like. Yeah. I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that because that would affect your long term. Two years of your life would not. So would no GCSE, but actually no GC, no GCSE. You can sort of figure out on that. You can, yeah, you exactly. You can do coursework. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with that. But um, we, I think that is our last questions. So yeah, moving back onto topics then. Um, a, a questionable thing is that WhatsApp now have a data share agreement with Facebook, and I know that Facebook have owned WhatsApp, but the fact that Facebook get your data. From WhatsApp too, it really makes people wonder if it's safe or not. Because like having a data agreement uh, policy, like they can't really release all the details, so you don't know what's being shared, whether it's your messages, whether it's just your phone number or any of that. Like it, it, it's just, it just depends. I saw they can also. I saw I was reading like an article and it said you know like they can hear what your calls like you're saying on calls. Yeah. Yeah, I saw they didn't used to be able to hear if you're using like earbuds, like like Galaxy buds. Now mm. they can actually hear what you're saying even with earphones. Which yeah, I mean it don't really make too much of a difference. But I I sort of get it, but it's sort of something that you don't really need, do you? But yeah, like, I mean it's... it. It does make sense for like if people do saying just like criminal criminal activity or something. I think it should be under like an automated thing where like they listen out for certain words maybe yeah. and then monitor it like see if someone was to be like oh you know like i'm gonna bomb the white house ha 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 then that can be listened to you know but, like, <laughs> but, like, it's a it's a triggered triggered automated. yes yeah yeah like that. that's what i mean but i mean it'd be hard but I, I just don't know how it works exactly no one does it's not public i mean yeah fair f fair enough i 
like I said, I, it it can be safe. It can. It depends the way they do it. Because Facebook own a lot of things. They own Snapchat. They own uh, Instagram. Yeah, if you own, own social media, they probably have some of your data. I, they, I swear they don't. They have an agreement with TikTok now as well. Yeah, I, I mean TikTok sure are data miners in themselves, so I mean yeah. that just depends. I mean, I'm pretty sure Facebook are as well. So. Yeah, not as bad though, because they're Facebook aren't run by china anyway right yeah um, you can um elaborate on that if you want or we can move no, on. no i i think it's a really hard topic to be but it's, it's talking about different applications and different companies there's been obviously a lot of exclusives for different consoles like most notably like spider-man on the on playstation in the last few years uncharted on yeah. playstation gears of war for xbox and like halo oh, for xbox yeah, true, and uh, Forza. But and God I... of War for PlayStation. Yes, yes, sure, sure, no. Um, but it, there's loads of exclusives, and I think that really makes or breaks your, uh, like your ch- choice of platform. Because for me, yeah. Xbox, I uh, I love and I prefer it more to PlayStation. I mean, prefer pre- prefer it over PlayStation. Which, first, I don't really care which one I get, but I prefer Xbox. But if I was gonna get one this year. Which I I think I am. Uh, it, I'd have to go with PlayStation just for the fact of the new Spider-Man games. Yeah, it, it's like PlayStation have the best exclusives. I'm telling you right now, and that might be controversial, but I think it's generally down to preference. Um, I don't think the consoles the consoles are like practically the same. Like they're practically yeah. the same. It just depends on what you like more. Uh, the controller shouldn't be an issue considering you can get Xbox layout co- controllers for PS. Um playstation and the same with xbox it's quite it's quite insane but playstation they have so many things that i just hold so close to my heart especially uncharted god of war is pretty good and the new spider-man series is also obviously there i think gran turismo is to one of the best recent games which kind of competes with forza 100 percent. yeah uh, xbox for me it's really good but i don't think they're doing a gears of war this year which is really disappointing for me and i think um obviously friends is a big a big topic for like which one you get as well who's getting the playstation who's getting xbox and i think if there's more yeah, who doing that play with. it really um like chooses your decision for you basically yeah it definitely helps with your decision i believe xbox also have mass effect right mass effect that's a class game i don't know if it, they, still, so they still do it because I remember the Xbox 360 one, Mass Effect. You know, of the like the the cover out was like they're on a they're on top of a planet with like the guns and stuff. You know, yeah. I no, I didn't. I went in to play Mass Effect for the first time, right? I didn't think it was a horror. You didn't? No, I didn't. I thought it was just like some cool space game. And then I got jump scared, and I was like, "Nah, I'm not playing this. I'm not playing this. I'm too young for this." Yeah. That was <laughs> so just, that was me I, with I Alien thought... Isolation. I'd never play that game again. You didn't think that was a horror. That's one of the scariest horrors no, out there. It just said alien isolation, and I was like, oh, I'm guessing this is going to be like shooting like things and planets and stuff. I load up, get jump scared in the first two seconds, and I just throw my controller. I was there. You that can't was, get that... jump scared in the first two seconds. You, you know what I mean? Like, you start on a completely different ship. You don't even see an alien until about one hour in. Look, that was not the point. <laughs> <laughs> but I was terrified, and I never played the game again. And that was one of the only times that I almost broke my controller. It was definitely, it's definitely one of the scariest uh, games. It, it makes you feel so alone. The uh, alien. All right. <laughs> All right. No, I mean, like when you're on it, when you're playing it, you're like, it's just you in a spaceship by yourself. You should probably wear headphones because you should listen out for the aliens and stuff. It's so scary. It's I, such a yeah. It's so it's such a um what would you say? I iconic game. For me, that's um, like playing playing pacify. It's not terrifying when you're playing with people, but if you're just doing it by yourself, it's a bit scary. Well, well yeah, yeah, I guess but pacify doesn't live up to any level of uh, no. alien isolation. So Sony are actually taking giant leaps and competing against LG with their twenty twenty one OLED lineup uh, with unbelievable sound and picture technology. There is really, really good like 360 sound uh, technology implements or something like that. It is a new step for TVs. And we were talking about TVs last episode, so I was thinking, you know, this is definitely a great leap for both Sony and LG, I guess. Yeah, I mean, they're they're obviously big um, 
uh, rival companies and i think it'll be more affordable than lg's 8k range i'm presuming because sony their tvs have always been a bit more affordable thing is though is sony aren't gonna have 8k i believe i believe at, at the moment it's only publicized really? that it's gonna be 4k uh, yeah. but like obviously there's no there's uh, only info on the 4k at the minute like you just said but yeah. Uh, I, I'm just presuming that there is going to be 8K because no, there's no way they'd release a 4K lineup and then just leave 8K out of the question when yeah, it's becoming they, more big. I mean, they're going to have 8K, but if it, if they have 8K, it's probably come around. They're going to come around the same price. Probably not exactly. It depends on if they make mm. one of them ultra thin QLED or whatever you call it. But um, it just depends. It's like it's insane. The TVs are just going to different places to the point where it just confuses you. I like, think uh, I don't think it's gonna be like a lot cheaper, but I think it's gonna be marginally cheaper where it appeals to more. So people will be like, "Oh, this has the same thing as this, but this is a slightly cheaper." So let's buy this. You know what I mean? Yeah. So so and Sony aren't sound. losing out on anything, but like no. and the the cool like three sixty sound thing that is mm. that is that's a new leap itself. It's insane. I I think th- I don't think it's gonna be very good though because there's no way you can get three sixty sound on a TV. Like, unless you're having a surround sound system, I don't understand how you're gonna have a good 360 degree spatial audio. Yeah, I get uh, that. But Sony do have they they're one of the biggest audio companies out there as well. Yeah, they, 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 yeah, they have really good uh, monitors as well. Well, I monitors is in like speakers. They've but. partnered with Sennheiser before, I believe, and Sennheiser are one of the biggest music production companies on the world in the world. Sorry. So yeah, and um, going into something new um marvel uh, uh talking about tv and stuff marvel have a giant lineup of um things coming over the next few years um so we have the new spider-man movie what are your thoughts on that uh tom holland uh, i think it's his last movie i believe that that's unfortunate because i think he's the best spider-man since like i'm not even lying toby Maguire, i'm so glad apparently andrew garfield is supposed to be back brought back as well which both of them are yeah i think it'll be absolutely amazing because though so both of them uh, andrew garfield i thought he was a he, he was a good spider-man but he didn't seem a good peter parker at all right i'm gonna say right no offense or anything but how is fat toby Maguire supposed to be spider-man he's fat now isn't he yeah and he smokes cigars and stuff uh i don't know but if he gets in shape, I guess. But well, maybe he's supposed to be com- coming back as like a guest and like a role model or something. I don't know. I believe he might be. Sp- I don't know. Nobody knows yet, do they? He might um, not even be Spider Man. They both might just be coming back as like. <gasps> there's going off topic a minute. Um, there's um a uncharted movie coming out with Tom Holland. Really? Yeah, he's playing Nathan Drake, and Mark Wahlberg is playing S- Sully. Uh, it sounds like it has a good cast then. But Tom Holland is Nathan Drake. Are you serious? I'm sorry, he's a good actor, but he's not Nathan Drake. I mean, so I don't think it's his acting that's the problem. I think he's he's a bit too young for the character. Uh, yeah, but I, I think he, he definitely is a fantastic actor. But um, Nathan Drake, I, uh, Nathan Drake's supposed to be like a badass kind of buff guy. I don't think Tom Holland really suits so. Well. I mean, he's buff, but I don't think he's like. Yeah, he's not very buff, as he's just like muscly, like um. Uh, I, yeah, it, it's interesting. There's a a, a Black Widow uh, movie as well that was supposed to be released this year, but and then I think it's been brought back with the COVID. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, I think it, it may be this year. I don't know. Black Panther two, which I believe they filmed half of before uh, Chadwick Boseman sadly passed away. Um. Uh, but I I don't know how they're gonna go around that. But that comes out twenty twenty two, I believe. Mm-hmm. And even yeah, the the Loki show, which I think it's the first Marvel TV show since um, what's it called? No. Well, uh, are you talking about Agents of Shield or something? No, no, that was that was a long time ago. It since they, they still do that. Do they? Yeah. Oh, I thought and they they also finished... Iron what? Fist. I think it was that. That was what I was gonna say. Yeah, but I mean, they no, they had like that one thing where what was it? It was like out misfits or something like that, and they were like there was like a giant dog and stuff. They they Marvel have a lot of shows, trust me. Yeah, I I know. I remember Daredevil was like a really big one. Um, oh, I love that. Uh, Iron Fist was a bit smaller one, and I I I don't really know too much about them, but they they were supposed to have been really well 
received so i'm hoping that the loki show will be good maybe bringing some stuff about him and for his childhood maybe i don't thing know is, though, is the iron fist and jessica jones luke cage and daredevil they were not family friendly mm, at yeah. all so i guess that also helps with the production i'm sorry but non-family friendly th- things are just so much better mm. it, yeah. just, it just depends i guess but i mean yeah, it does. It does make sense. But talking about things that are going on this year, us putting in lockdown. Simpsons are like the magicians and future tellers of the world. Like, how have they predicted so many things? COVID. They predicted Trump becoming president. I'm pretty sure. And um, even nine you know, eleven. <laughs> <laughs> there was like a few little weird uh, coincidences. I guess you could say. I don't know how it works exactly. I don't. I don't think they tried to predict anything. I think it was more so of a, a coincidence. Yeah. Yeah, it was more like it's supposed to be fiction, and then it actually happened. I don't know how it happened. Mm. No, but it's so so strange. <laughs> it's quite weird. I mean, it's in- It's interesting to see how like a TV show's done that. I bet the writers are like, "What have we done? We've done this." Yeah, <laughs> they're like, "What if the Simpsons?" used events right and then people went off the events so they were following the simpsons instead of the simpsons predicting hmm? Hmm? i mean i'm not yellow i don't think no but i mean like no i mean like the simpsons are like oh wow trump's gonna become president so trump sees that and he's like yo i'm gonna run for president maybe this and then people will be like it will become a headline it's kind of weird i don't know <laughs> it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's like a big conspiracy theory possible uh i don't think it's possible when it comes to 9-11 no um, <laughs> I don't think that's possible. Let's not, let's not talk about that. <laughs> that's a bit interesting. I don't think that's Intre- possible. Interesting topic. Um, I mean, we don't know. Twin Towers could be here today if it were for The Simpsons. Who knows? Anyway, um, I think um, this brings us to the end of the show. Yeah, so we're gonna. Uh, just tell you a little bit about our socials again because we mentioned them in the last episode or two i believe and um the 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 really they're they're great for being there the, the you get to see all of our issues there um you you get updates on literally everything you need to have updates on we just post everything there so if you want to go to our twitter which is the cubcast and the instagram is also the cubcast and uh, there'll be links in the description for those things. We have a we have a big project coming up, which we'll let you guys know closer to the time, and we'll be promoting it on our channels. But we'll we'll see, we'll see if it works out, and it might also be on this channel as well. So look out for that. And a few of you may already know about such if you're close to us. So, um, yes. So, and don't forget that you can use the ro- uh, the code the Cubcast at Rogue Road the Cubcast. Shut up. Don't forget that you you can use code the Cubcast, the Rogue Energy, to get ten percent off of any of your orders on their website. So yeah, um, if, if you'd like if you'd like to see that, and also give us suggestions on who you'd like to see on the podcast, and we can possibly make it happen. We have yes, one or two people please. possibly lined up. Um, we're not too sure how that's going to go, but um, you might be able to see them soon. Yes, and um, we're going to try get someone for next week too. So, thank you for watching. And listening on the Spotify. And don't forget to stay positive.